French official concedes that the international military intervention in Libya is likely to last, quote, a while. I thought that was all really based on height and weight, too. Yeah. It's you know? Because so. it's it's our kids are as out. tall as adults. Mm -hmm. That's true. Right. So does that mean adults should be lined up? And some adults. <laughs> I was just thinking, I know what she was thinking, and some adults never get to be that so tall. you need to be in a rear-facing seat. <laughs> in the back seat all the time. I can't drive anymore. That's going to be hard for you. No, she said I'm exactly a little bit what she taller was than thinking. four foot nine, aren't I? <laughs> Remember we had those, uh, we had marks on the wall, we all measured off how yes, we right. were. I, I reached out to the wall. He's still growing. <laughs> I'm growing still, so yeah. So big. <laughs> oh, weather-wise. Okay. Uh, yeah, the arrival of spring has us giddy, I suppose. Uh, we do have a lot of cloud cover out there right now. I mean, best place for you to really get into some nice sun this afternoon is probably going to be across the far southern suburbs. You still have a chance to get to 60 degrees there. At O'Hare, I think we'll top out mid-50s, 49 right now out at the big airport. 52 Batavia, it is 50 in Morris, Joliet, Valparaiso is still at a 45, 52 degrees right now at the lakefront. Here's a look at the satellite picture. We have been really seeing some stubborn cloud cover this morning, but just starting to poke into the skies over LaSalle and Ottawa, hopes for some sun, and that's probably the area that will be offered the sunshine this afternoon. I think really from the city, due west and north most likely. It will be partly to mostly cloudy here for the rest of this afternoon. As for tonight, well, our brief dry period, yes indeed, it ends. Overnight tonight, rain is going to be moving in, possibly during tomorrow morning's rush hour and tomorrow evening's commute. Is uh, Jay conscious? Uh, no, no, she, uh, he was unconscious when Elizabeth found him. Did she see the driver? She didn't even see the car. Calling all General Hospital fans, be sure to keep the tissue box handy this week. When you're watching your soap, it's going to be an emotional week. This morning, Steve Burton, who plays Jason, joins us via Skype. Hi, Steve. How are you doing? Hi, Tracy. Good morning. How are you? Oh, it's so good to see you. But you when we last saw you on Friday, your son, we know he's your son, Jake, was hit by a car. So far, this is the most emotional I think we have ever seen Jason. I think it's uh, probably the most emotional you'll ever see uh, my character, Jason, ever. Um, obviously, losing a child or a child being hit by a car is pretty devastating for parents. And uh, it's been an emotional time on the show. Everybody's stepped up. It's been a great story, but it's, uh, sometimes it's tough to do. Well, we're going from, you know, Sonny and Brenda's wedding. That was emotional. Now this. Now, how long will it be before we know who hit Jake with the car? And do you even know at this point? Uh, at this point, who hit Jake, I don't know, actually. It's going to be probably another three or four days or a week on air, somewhere around there. We're going to kind of get to the bottom of that. And uh, whoever it is, better watch out. Well, we know it wasn't you. We know it wasn't you. And uh, no. we will be watching all week long to see how this plays out. But really important, aside from GH, I want all of your fans to know you're coming back to Chicago in April, right? Y yes, we are. We can't wait to come visit you. and. Uh, Port Chuck, the, the little band I put together, as I like to call the greatest cover band in the world, is going to come play for you guys down there at the studio. All right, remind our viewers who all from GH is in Port Chuck. Uh, Port Chuck consists of Bradford Anderson, who you guys know plays Spinelli, Brandon Barash, Johnny Z, and uh, Scott Reeves, who plays Dr. Stephen Abs Weber, <laughs> and myself. So uh, we're going to come have fun in Vernon Hills again in April, and we're going to come down and see you again, Tracy. Oh, uh, and you're not, And you're not going to keep us short this time. It's not going to be like a 30-second interview. <laughs> we're taking some time this time. Oh, believe me, I have already put in the request for, the, for an hour-long special with oh, you guys. Oh, an hour concert, okay. How about that? Hey, Great. thanks so much for being with us today via Skype. We look forward to your scenes this week and look forward to you and all the guys from Port Chuck for a return visit to Chicago in April. Take care of yourself, all right? Thank you. Tune into the show.